In this session, we will cover functions in Python. Function in, in programming is literally the big boy spans, be it Python or any other language. So, we are a, truly into the programmer territory now that we have learned the basics. We are all excited for this one, aren't we? This is going to be an excellent session. What we are going to cover is what functions are and why they are needed. To give you a summary, it is very simple. Functions help you to extend the capabilities of a programming language. The most common denominator for this is to be able to avoid repeated code. Just like we do not like someone telling us to do the same thing again and again programming wise, it is not such a good idea for us to repeat the same code. Let us look at this particular example. But before that, have we seen functions anywhere? We have seen print, we have seen str, we have seen len. These functions have been used and these are built into Python. Now, our focus here would be to let you as a developer to be able to build their own functions. In this particular example, you will notice I have assigned a name as Anna. I have printed that. We have used the plus to concatenate. Right, and then there is the next block of code, which is just a string, which will give you a separator. And then it says the next name is Shasta. We used an F formatted string. Again, we are sort of essentially doing the same thing in different ways. So now, how do we standardize things? Across your code, this will help you standardize it. So if you run it, as we expect, it would say, hello, Anna. And then it would print this and then it would print the F formatted string. Essentially, it is doing this, but in a different way. But what we have ended up doing is we have done something in a different two different ways. This creates an overload in the head of the programmer when somebody else ends up reading your code. Now, how do we solve that? That becomes the big question. For that, we can define functions. So, functions have got a start with a keyword, then the function name, the brackets, there could be potentially parameters here and a return keyword could be there. Now, let us just see a very simple function. Let us just try to repeat this here. As we try to do this, we will define a function called say hello. Well, it did not do anything as of now because we did not invoke the function. So, once you define a function, def stands for define, it has been passed a parameter and that is the name like Anna and let us just run this, right. So, so that printing has been made in a same format. Now, let us say somebody comes and says you should use f strings everywhere, you could always do this. your code is now doing the same function. However, instead of changing two lines of code here, all I did is change one line of code, making your code more modular, which means you have followed a certain standard and now your code is more like a programmer's code should be. Now that your code it has improved. Now, let us just look at a couple of variations. Here we have num1 and num2, which are two numbers. We passed a string earlier. Just to give you an idea, you could pass pretty much Python accepted data types here. Now, what we are doing is we are defining another function that adds. Whenever you define a function, you should tell what that should do. There are different ways to com comment it. This is not really an ideal way to comment it. This would be the right way to comment it. But for, for the purposes of us to understand, for now, we will do this. Now, let us just try to use this. Right. 
So what it did was, it let's just see this. It gave us the value two and ten. Sorry, one zero one, because it was returning a value and not directly writing to output. All right. So our objective was that the programmer would get something and do something with it. In this case, print it. Right. So, in this case, we have a return. Now, let's just say, let's just do this and see what happens. There is no output for this line because it returns something and Python has not been told to print it. Therefore, whatever was the result of those, the adding has not been printed. Now, if you want whatever is returned to be printed, you can say, you can add the phrase print, you guessed it right, print that, as simple as that. So now let's just get into the AI territory, everyone is. So here is the explain code part and it explains what it does. So once you get hold of this code, once you have it typed in this code and if you have a doubt in understanding what this does, use the Gemini AI to help you understand the code. Let me show you again how to do that explain the code, right? So the explain code option from within the Python notebook in Google Colab will explain, all right? So it tells you exactly what it does. It calls this add function. It takes two numbers. In this case, it's one and 10, one and one and one and 100. Here, it printed everything. But without print, what I could do is I could actually store the value here, C is equal to And I could say print C. Right. So what we saw was what functions are. Essentially what this big boy, big boy pan does for you is it allows you to write more modular reusable code without having to repeat the same code again and again. It allows you to easily maintain the code, which remember we changed the hello plus name to the F format string. And the moment we used it, the same point was getting covered. So good practices can be included easily into programming. Yes, there is a concept of good practices in programming. Now that you understand there are good practices, we will talk about them as we go. Then. We saw how you can pass multiple parameters. We have type hinted here. Int stands for the integer type. Right. So now we got an, a new variable called num1. Num3 is equal to num2 and num1 sum. And I printed that. I can always say print num1 plus num2. But for the sake of reviewing our assignment process, and the plus operator in mathematical scenario, we have created another variable. That way it's easier for you to understand as we do this. I hope uh, you have understood this far. And the last part is whenever you return a value, it can be collected and then processed. You can print it or you can say something like this. You could do different things each time, right? We have to convert numerics to strings before we print it. So we did an str. str is a built-in function and it comes to you automatically when you install Python. And the other functions we have written, so you can have user-defined functions or system-defined functions. You don't modify the system-defined functions, user-defined functions you can modify. All right, so and we covered Gemini to help you understand how to un how to get the code explained by Gemini. Now, now let's just do that again. So it goes into the thinking mode. 
Here he is going into that explanation process to tell you what he thinks is it's happening. Go through that. It can be useful for you in your learning process. But the key is for you to repeat what you did, what you saw in this particular session, and keep on repeating it. Right? So for now, let's stop here with functions. Now that we have learned a few things and we are in control of what we are doing, we should start practicing this. So to this effect, I will be giving a small assignment in this session. The assignment is the addition function that we just saw, if it was passed a negative number, it should understand that and display a message. You have passed a negative number, right, with a print function. Then do the addition of the two numbers. So it's a negative number and then a positive number, a negative number and a negative number, or a positive number and a positive number. But if any one of those numbers, or, or, um, or if it's two, both the numbers, just tell them these numbers are negative. Just print them out. It's a fairly straightforward assignment. It's a, the tip is to use the if function to check. So you can use the ifs, the whiles, the fors inside a function. That way, making it more useful. So all the very best with that and see you in the next session.